model context protocol. Let's try to understand why we need MCP. Earlier, we just had LLMs to which we sent an input and got an output, simple. Then we had agents which act as orchestrator and provide some flow control and use LLM for reasoning. However, that is not much of a improvement. Agents should be able to perform actions, which is done by using tools. So, agents perform orchestration, use LLMs for reasoning and language, and tools for actions. This is good, but if you want to add another tool or modify the tool interface, you will have to update the agent. In other words, the tools are closely tied to the agent. We need these to be loosely coupled. So we add a layer called MCP or Model Context Protocol which hides away the complexities of tools. You can add, update or remove tools behind the MCP server. Agent simply queries the MCP server to find available tools, their interface schema and invokes these tools as necessary via MCP. This provides some sort of plug and play architecture for tools. Using this simple abstraction, you can make agents powerful and very easy to develop. MCP servers can provide access to not just tools, but prompts and resources too. Prompts are predefined templates and resources are static or dynamic data such as files. However, we will discuss only tools here. Our user prompt is what products are available. Our agent using the MCP client queries the MCP server what are the available tools. MCP server returns list of available tools. In this case, get product list and get order details. Now the agent sends the user prompt and list of available tools to the LLM. LLM reasons and responds with name of the tool that must be invoked. The agent then sends a request to the MCP server to invoke the get product list tool. MCP server invokes this tool, get product list. The tool then returns list of products, which the MCP server returns to the agent, which is then forwarded to the large language model. LLM then formulates a response. Here are the list of products. And that's the final output that the agent returns to the user. Here are the list of products. On Cloud Desktop, we quickly check that there are no MCP tools configured here. Let's add a first prompt. Create a Weebly contact form. Now, Weebly is a website which allows you to create a variety of forms. Now, since no such uh, MCP tool is configured, what Claude is doing here is creating a generic HTML JavaScript form in a weave-like design pattern, but is, it is not using Weavely itself to create the form, right? So this is a generic HTML JavaScript form and here it is. Now you go to file settings developer and hit edit config and we can see in the configuration file no mcp related configuration exists so let's add one for weebly okay so we add this configuration so that the weebly tool can be invoked when necessary all right and then we need to restart the cloud desktop now after restart, go to the tool section and you can see Weavely MCP configured there. Okay, now let's add a prompt. Create a Weavely contact form. Now this is the same prompt that we used earlier. All right, I will create a Weavely contact form for you. And it asks for permission. Claude would like to use an external integration. So say yes. All right. And perfect. I have created a professional contact form for you. Right. And it provides a link 
to the form it has created externally. And when we open that link in a browser, we can see a form that has been created on the Weebly website. So that is how MCP works.